here. Steve Kornacki has the results from Pennsylvania. Steve, refreshing recording right now. What do you have? Okay, Willie, and these are coming directly from the city of Philadelphia's website. They are not quite in our system yet, so I am going to tell you what we have here. Uh, the new total, let me call up Philadelphia, and this is the latest report. You see, these are the numbers that are in our system. The new numbers, mm -hmm. the new current tally is Joe Biden, 553,000. 953 votes, okay? Yep. Donald Trump, 125,513 votes. Okay. So that is a difference of 28,440, okay? Uh, oh, hang on. So I'm, I'm doing... That's the first step. I'm, let me calm down yep. here because we got yep. one important step. What we need to do here is subtract... Oh, it's been updated. It's in our system. So, <laughs> All right, he gained refresh. about 21,000 votes, and what that did is it has put Joe Biden into the lead. Joe Biden now leads in Pennsylvania statewide by 5,587 votes. So you see, in that last update that we just got in a few minutes ago there, Joe Biden picked up about 23, 24,000 votes. I get the exact number here in a second. But again, how did he get that? These are absentee ballots, mail ballots. They have been counting these for a couple days now in Philadelphia. This was an update. Uh, that, uh, there's about 27, 28,000 votes that they just reported out. Biden is winning the overwhelming share of them, as he has been in Philadelphia, as he has been around Pennsylvania. And so this has now been enough to vault him past Donald Trump and into the lead statewide. I should point out, even with this update, Biden now has a narrow lead in Pennsylvania. There are still, that is probably about half of the remaining vote in Philadelphia that we just got, meaning there is more. There is another batch the same size of what you just saw in Philadelphia yet to come. There is vote. There, is, there are 35,000 votes yet to come from Allegheny County, from Pittsburgh. There are 10,000 more votes yet to come from the Allentown area, Lehigh County. There are 10,000 more to come from Bucks County. All of these are expected to go for Joe Biden by a very heavy margin because all of the updates from all of the places I've just mentioned so far and every other county in Pennsylvania have gone heavily for Joe <sighs> Biden so far. We started saying this yesterday. We started telling you the trend we were seeing in Pennsylvania was that every update from absentee ballots was putting Joe Biden ahead. He was winning 75% of them. The question we wanted to see was, could he get in front, could he continue that trend, get in front of, of Donald Trump statewide in that tally, or would the trend change at all? The trend has not changed at all. The trend has remained constant. With every update, Joe Biden has been getting more and more uh, of an advantage uh, in that statewide tally. And now he leads it. Now there are still, still an estimated 130,000 or so votes yet to be reported statewide. Again, Joe Biden is leading in that tally. The ballots being counted, that 130,000, the uh, absentee mail ballots, Joe Biden has been winning 75 percent of those. That remains the case. This is very, very much what we had been expecting. So again, Joe Biden now has the lead statewide in Pennsylvania and on the current tra trajectory, which hasn't changed, that lead is now set to expand and potentially to expand significantly. This was once a 600,000 plus <clears throat> vote advantage for Donald Trump a couple days ago. The reason a couple days ago, mainly the only thing that had been counted in Pennsylvania were the ballots that were cast on Election Day. After Election Day, they began in most parts of Pennsylvania counting the mail ballots, the mail ballots that had been delivered and sent in weeks ahead of time, days ahead of time. In all of these counties, by state law, they could only collect those ballots until Election Day. And only on Election Day could they begin to open the ballots, verify them, begin to process them, begin to count them. And in some counties, they didn't even begin that process until the day after the election day. And so that is why, for the last two days now in Pennsylvania, we've been getting one report after another of just mail-in ballots, which we have seen have been overwhelmingly Democratic, overwhelmingly for Joe Biden. And now we have gotten enough of those mail ballots that have been processed in Pennsylvania that we can see that Joe Biden is ahead statewide and 
poised to expand that lead. Okay. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.